We are less than a month away from E3 2017. I am flipping hyped for it, but I've got some more predictions for Nintendo Spotlight. So what I will do in this video is give you my, probably going to be my final predictions for Nintendo Spotlight. I'll leave a link to the first part because that will contain like most of my predictions. I don't think this video will go on for that long. This video will just include some of the smaller stuff that I did miss out on and will update my predictions based on some of the things that have happened since my last predictions video which I did make at the start of April just because I thought my neighbours they were going to have building work um, and I thought you know, around about this time I thought there will be a lot of builders um, you know, making a lot of noise but that hasn't happened I don't know what is happening with my next door neighbours but they said they were going to have an extension I'm not sure when the building work you know is starting but anyway that doesn't matter I'll leave a link to my first prediction video in the top right I would suggest for you to watch that video before you carry on watching this video because like I said it does contain most of my predictions for Nintendo's E3 2017 direct or their spotlight video so yeah I'm just gonna kick things off with this video by saying that I expect Nintendo spotlight to last around about 45 minutes to 50 minutes um, just because that is how long the last two um, digital events lasted at E3 they did last about you know 45 minutes to 50 minutes so I am expecting the same length so I'm just gonna clear some things up from my last predictions video so in that predictions video I said that I expected to see ARMS and Splatoon 2 if we didn't get a direct before E3 2017. In that predictions video I did say that I expected us to get a direct in April and of course we did. We also got another direct in May so based on that I don't think we will see that much of ARMS just because I think we have seen most of the content that we need to see for ARMS. I think the only other content that we will see is post launch and that will cover like, all of the free updates like new characters, new stages and new types of arms. So I don't think we will see arms in the spotlight. The only arms we will see at E3 2017, like the only arms content we will see is in that arms tournament on the 14th of June I do believe that is when it will be taking place. Um, so I don't think ARMS will appear in the spotlight. I think Splatoon 2 will do. I think we'll get a multiplayer trailer showing off the multiplayer just because we haven't seen the multiplayer in a while um, since January, I do believe. Or if you count the global test file um, you know, earlier this year. We haven't really seen anything new from the multiplayer in a while. So I think we are due for a general multiplayer trailer. I think we will get a brand new reveal for a new mode. I'm not sure whether it will be one of the modes returning from the original Splatoon game. But I think we will get a, a look at another mode that will be in the multiplayer. Maybe it will be Splat Zones. Maybe that will be the announcement. Um, but I think we will get a multiplayer trailer. And I think it will transition into a short trailer detailing what the online will be like for the Switch. And what we'll be getting when the paid script, uh, subscription service does go live later this year. I think we'll get a short trailer explaining that sort of stuff. I think we'll get more details about that sort of stuff in a Splatoon 2 Direct. Which will happen before the game does launch. I think it will happen late June, early July. Like very early on in July. Like July 2nd, 3rd. Around about that time frame. So I think we'll get a Splatoon 2 direct before it does come out. So I think we'll only get a, like a short trailer for Splatoon 2. Just because like I said I think we'll get more details in a direct before the game does launch. So yeah I think Splatoon 2 will be in the spotlight but I don't think ARMS will. So in my last video I did say that... Um, I think a new IP will be announced by Nintendo and I think that new IP will be sports related now. I think we'll get a new IP from Nintendo that will be a sports game sort of collection. Um, that's just my idea. 
Um, also, in that video, I did say that I expected to see Pokemon Stars get announced, but now I'm not so sure, just because normally with Pokemon games, they announce their games in May, and then at E3, we get our first gameplay of the brand new Pokemon game, or like the game that is coming out in November. Like, we haven't got that at this moment in time. It's like May is ending. I'm not sure when this video will be posted. Hopefully, it will be posted by the end of May. Um, but at, at this time of recording, we don't have an announcement for Pokemon Stars. It could change this week. But at this time, we haven't got an announcement. So I'm not too sure whether they will save that for E3 2017. I'm not sure whether they will do that just because they haven't done that for a long, long time. I'm not sure with, uh, with it potentially coming out for the Switch, maybe that will change the situation somewhat. But yeah, I'm just not sure, just because we haven't got that announcement yet, I'm sort of thinking that maybe Pokemon Stars will not be actually coming out this year. Uh, maybe Eurogamer got it wrong. Uh, maybe Pokemon Stars will be coming out next year instead. So they're just some of the few things that I need to clear up from my last video. So let's just get on with the new predictions for this video. So I'm just going to kick things off with Ubisoft. So I'm going to interrupt my own video by just saying my next prediction has been spoiled somewhat. It was recorded before the Mario and Rabbids Kingdom Battle leak we got the other day. We saw official artwork for the game. Um, so yeah, that sort of leak has sort of made my next prediction somewhat out of date. It's obvious that Mario and Rabbids Kingdom Battle will make an appearance at E3. One thing I will say is that I think Nintendo will open their digital event with Mario Rabbids. People will think, oh my god, is this Super Mario Odyssey? No, it isn't. It's, you know, Mario Rabbids Kingdom Battle. You will probably just see uh, Mario in the Mushroom Kingdom and then you will eventually see the Rabbids and then we will learn that it is the Mario Rabbids Kingdom Battle game so I'm just going to let the rest of the video play out but yeah my next prediction somewhat somewhat out of date now that the leak has happened but I thought I will just keep it in anyway and I'm just going to you know cover basically and the main sort of announcement that I did miss in my last predictions video and that is I expect that Mario Rabbids crossover game to get announced at E3 2017 we will get a trailer in the spotlight and we'll get a proper gameplay look in the treehouse I think it will be called Mario and Rabbids Kingdom Battle that is the name floating, floating about on the internet um, and I think that game will come out in August this year um, August, we don't have any game for that month at this, you know, at the time, um, at this time of recording. So I think Mario and Rabbids will fill that slot. So that is what I expect to see from Ubisoft. And I think we'll get a teaser for Beyond Good and Evil 2. But I'm not sure whether we will see that in Nintendo Spotlight or whether Ubisoft will do that teaser themselves. Maybe if it will come out for the Switch, then maybe we'll just get, yeah, Beyond Good and Evil 2, it's coming out for the Switch. Here's the same teaser trailer that we got in Ubisoft's press conference. Um, so, yeah, I think Beyond Good and Evil, Beyond Good and Evil 2 will get um, revealed for the Switch at E3 2017. Now, there are some rumours knocking about that Final Fantasy 7 will get announced for the Switch. Um, like the remake that is coming to the PS4, I'm not sure. I'm not sure whether it will. I'm not expecting Final Fantasy VII to get announced for the Switch. I don't think we will see that in the spotlight. So I think we'll get a third-party um, trailer um, covering all of the third-party games that are coming out soon. So I think we will see FIFA 18, um, Sonic Forces, Sonic Mania, Ukulele. Maybe we'll get like a proper trailer for Ukulele as well, like on its own. Um, but I think we'll get a third party trailer um, showing games like Skyrim, NBA 2K, um, FIFA, like you know, I've already mentioned, Payday 2. I think we'll get some sort of third party content in the spotlight, but I'm not really expecting expecting to see that much. I think maybe we'll just see that guy from Bethesda 
just say yeah here's Skyrim for the Switch and we just get to see like another trailer for it or, or maybe Nintendo won't do like separate trailers for third party games maybe they will com combine them into um, you know, one trailer like one sort of montage showing all of the third party games that are coming out for the Switch soon um, so that's it in terms of third party content I did already talk about other third party announcements in my last prediction video um, so like I said I'll definitely recommend you check out that video but the last thing that I want to leave this on actually before I do I think we will get more details or we will get our first details I should say on the virtual console I think we will get um, information about what is happening with the virtual console at E3 2017 I think we will get um, in our first trailer um, looking at what the virtual console will look like and it will show some of the games that are coming out soon for the virtual console as well and I think GameCube will get confirmed for the virtual console but the last thing I'm going back and forward with this and that is Call of Duty 2017 or Call of Duty World War 2 there are rumours that it will get announced for the Switch in the spotlight I'm not sure I've got to think about it more but I probably will come out with another video um, talking about my thoughts about whether I think Call of Duty World War 2 will come out for the Switch or whether it will get announced for the Switch at E3 2017 but that is it for my predictions video like I said at the start my main predictions were in my last video um, I think Retro's new game will get announced at E3 2017 and I think it will be a game that I did talk about in my last predictions video so definitely would check out that predictions video um, first before you, you know watch this video I guess it's too late now if you've already got to this point in this video but if you watch this video first then I definitely would recommend you checking out my first predictions video it will contain more predictions than this video but that is it that is it for this video this video has gone on for longer than what I thought it would do. Hopefully you have enjoyed it. And leave me some of your predictions for Nintendo Spotlight in the comments. But that is it for this video and I will see you next time. Bye.